Hi, welcome to Balanced Body Podcast. My name is Portia Page and I'm from San Diego, California. I teach Pilates in San Diego and I'm also a faculty member for Balanced Body. With me today I have Beth and we're going to be doing five exercises on the Pilates Arc that you can do in less than five minutes. Are you ready? Here we go. Beth is going to take a seat right in the well of the step of the uh, Pilates Arc, bringing her feet in front of her and Let's just talk a little bit about alignment here. So we want the heels in line with your sit bones. All right, her feet are separated. Let's get them even, so yes. She's gonna start with her hands behind her thighs. From there, she's gonna do, you might actually need to move a little bit forward, Beth, so we have a little bit of room to roll back. So this is abdominal exercises. She's gonna roll back halfway, and she'll take an inhale as she rolls back, and an exhale as she rolls forward. She's going to maintain the C-curve as she's rolling back, so she wants to scoop in her tummy. And then as she exhale and rolls up, she's going to come to a tall seated position. You do this about five or ten times. And then, Beth, if you can show a little more advanced version, palms down, now without the hands. So rolling back, this becomes a little bit more difficult. At this point, hopefully you're warmed up, and you can actually roll back a little bit further. This, again, will depend on your strength, also the length of your torso and how you're feeling that day. So that's enough, Beth. We don't want to kill you yet. <laughs> Turning to the side now, we're going to work on the little waist whittlers. First starting off with a nice stretch. She's going to extend out her left leg, bring her arm out so she can roll down onto the arc itself. She rolls down rib by rib and we're going to take the top arm over the head. What you're looking for in this position is that the hips are stacked one over the other. The rib cages are stacked and also the shoulders. So she's in a nice line here, arm overhead. So this starts off with a nice stretch before we work the area. I'm going to place my hand here and she's just going to roll back with a nice inhale. You can do this without a spot. I'm just showing you one with one. Coming forward, keep the hips stacked. She rounds the upper back so she gets a nice stretch here in the upper side part of her back. Then bringing the arm over the head, the work begins. Beth, if you can show us a few side sit-ups, let's show one wrong first, okay? If she's going to do this wrong, which she never does, but you would roll forward. See how she's arcing her body forward? And she's still working the side, but it's not a very good position for the head and neck. So come back down. We're going to limit the range of motion and really work on this area right here. So the top of the head is reaching out towards the side. Arms are over the ears. And as she lifts, she's reaching out towards the sidewall. Come on up, Beth, just a couple here. Good, and down. You'll notice that the range of motion went way down. So she's really getting into this area here, working her side, whittling away the waist. I think we've done enough of those. Come on up to a kneeling position from here. Now we're going to target the upper back and the hamstrings and buttocks. She's going to come onto the arc at the top placing her hip bones right on the top here, maybe scooching forward a little bit more depending on how long your body is. And actually, if yeah, just move your hands a little bit more forward. Taking the feet slightly apart, this will keep the pressure out of the low spine. Back of the neck is long and the top of the head is reaching out toward the side again. She's gonna rock forward as she exhales and when she inhales, she'll lift and lengthen out. Good, rocking forward again with an exhale, targeting the back of the thighs the buttocks, upper back when she lifts. And I think, Beth, if you actually lift your head up just a little, yes, there we go. So the neck goes in line with the rest of her spine. So here we've got the back targeted. Now for our last little piece of exercise, she's gonna scooch off the back end. You can bend your knees, good. And we're gonna take the step off of the barrel itself and turn it over. What you want is the riding away from you, so the head is going to come to this end. I'll tilt it for you, and you just scooch right onto there. Head will rest onto the barrel itself, and now we come into a rocking position. Can you move up just maybe a little bit more? Good. And then bring your head this way towards me. This is just a nice release position here, rocking gently back and forth. Not quite as intense as the other moves, but a good release after all of those moves. Feeling good, Beth? All right. Gently she'll come up, and we finish our five exercises in less than five minutes on the Pilates Arc. Thank you for joining me today.